An Ethiopian hospital is flooded with a rising number of suffering children. These children are suffering from malnutrition. That's a problem that continues to worsen as Ethiopia witnesses the worst drought in four decades. Take a look at our next report for more. At a pediatric ward in Gode, mothers cradle their malnourished children. The hospital in Ethiopia's Somali region has seen an increasing influx of starving kids, victims of the worst drought to hit the country in 40 years. <laughs> Pediatrician Mohamed Amin said numbers started to spike around five months ago. There is an increase in number and there is, uh, due to the increase in number, and due to the droughts uh, which are available uh, in our area, are some of the causes we are seeing. Amin says they've treated 140 malnourished children and that four have died. On Tuesday, the UN's aid chief, Martin Griffiths, warned that close to two million children are at risk of starving to death in the Horn of Africa region. Many families, like Nimo Mohammed's, have left their home to seek aid. She's staying in a camp, and so the adults go without food so that the children can eat once a day. I have nine children. I had a home and property just like everyone. I am nine months pregnant, and if I gave birth tonight, this is where I will be sleeping. Things are tough here. This is where we live, 11 people, and we're in this situation because of the drought. More than 10,000 people are getting aid in the Somali region. 7.2 million across Ethiopia are food insecure, an increase of 2 million over the last two months, says World Food Programme spokesperson Claire Neville. We know that over a quarter of children are suffering malnourishment and over a third of pregnant and breastfeeding women are suffering are severely malnourished because of uh, this drought. So it's essential that we get nutritionally fortified foods to them right now the WFP says the Horn of Africa is facing its driest conditions in more than four decades. That's after three consecutive rainy seasons failed. The organization says 15 million people need food aid across the region, a figure that could rise to 20 million by the end of the year. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.